New at 10, the family of a man who drowned in the Milwaukee River describes Avery Meeks Jr. as a guardian angel for those around him. Tom Durian talked with those who called Avery brother, son, and father. Every time that they did not find him, we said, well, maybe there's a, a glimmer of hope that he'll walk up. Avery Meeks Sr. talks about the 48 hours family, friends, and rescue crews searched for his son. At different times, there would be three, four boats in the water, two or three kayaks in the water. Avery had been at Caesars Park with a friend Sunday night when he decided to swing on a branch over the Milwaukee River below. That branch broke and Avery went under the water, only to be found by determined family members Tuesday night. He touched everybody in different ways, but everybody loved him. The outpouring of support, his family says, is attributed to how Avery lived his life. He has this aura of just joy and he's just like the warmest person in the world. Avery's twin sisters said he was their guardian angel. I always thought that, you know, he was mine and my other sisters specifically, you know, here to protect us. I was fortunate enough for him to share my name. A name wasn't all this father and son shared. He grew up in the salon. Both of his parents have been in the salon business for decades, and in January, Avery decided he wanted to join the family business, so he enrolled in cosmetology school. I had a chair, I had a chair waiting for him so I could tutor him. While that dream will not come true, the work of some of Avery's earlier talents, like photography, will live on. Like his recent photos from the social justice marches happening around Milwaukee. The protests have been an, an important part of our lives and our journey, um, so it was important for him to document that. Avery Meeks Jr. leaves behind a four-year-old daughter, who family members say is just like her dad. Avery Sr. says he can't thank everyone enough who came out here to search for his son and the people that live around here. One person allowed the searchers to use their restroom. Another woman here grilled out for the people that were searching for Avery. Reporting over the Milwaukee River, Tom Durian, TMJ4 News.